You know the drill by now. We're playing BTD Battles 2, trying to make it into the Hall of Masters. It looks like we're not going to make it before the season ends, but in the time we do have left, we can increase our rank for when the next season starts. The Sniper Monkey is dead as fuck. Oh my god, Ninja Kiwi. They, they decided to annihilate the Sniper Monkey. Like, it is, it is an unusable tower yet again. It, it was pretty bad at the start of BTD Battles 2. And then they like buffed it a little bit like it was still it was still usable here and there and then oh my god it is now it is now completely dead if you guys don't know what i'm talking about the last patch that they put out for btd battles 2 <laughs> annihilated annihilated bonnie sniper super which like fair enough you know it was insanely like crazy as the meta but like they they honestly over nerfed it the sniper is just like you you cannot use the sniper whatsoever now i'm not gonna like go over a ton of the patch notes or anything in this video either but i'll go over some of the big things right and also hold on this guy's gonna like this guy's gonna high key die to yellow balloons i'm actually gonna balloon boost all this at him i think he's i think he's dead he's he's used the sniper that's that's why he's using the sniper he can't defend with the sniper the sniper's terrible now you know what he's good he is actually good and i guess in the meantime then because this guy is somehow defending i will mention the a few a few sniper changes because honestly they made a lot like i'll show the whole wall of text on screen now it is a ton like a metric ton of sniper changes the biggest one probably the most detrimental one is this one right here the 3x3 or the x3x bouncing bullet uh the, the bouncing bullet does not create additional shrapnel on attack it only creates the shrapnel on the first hit and that was like a really big thing of, as to why it was so good and uh yeah this guy also died but that's probably the most detrimental thing to the sniper i mean there was a lot of other things like in, in a bunch of price nerfs like more damage nerfs some some reworks on like the ability cooldowns and stuff like that but like sniper is just absolutely dead and they nerfed the strategy a little bit more too like there was some slight nerfs to bonnie but honestly nothing too big for her bonnie is still going to be a good hero which i'm happy about because i like i literally just unlocked bonnie so <laughs> i'm i'm very glad they're not like putting her into the ground yet and then there was also like a little bit of a super monkey nerf like they increased his price by i think 200 dollars so he couldn't be as viable in the early game which like he still can be if you play right but i'm fine with those it's really just like sniper sniper's dead and you know what i'm i'm okay with it like sniper was so big as the meta hero like it was impossible to avoid sniper he was in every game you saw so honestly I'm totally fine that they nerfed him. I think that's, <laughs> I think it's more healthy for the game. But anyway, we're here on docks and oh my God, look at that perfect, the perfect amount of money to afford my Glaive Ricochet. Dude, this is going to be my game. However, as you guys can see, we're running a boomerang strategy. Now boomerang, in my humble opinion, is a really bad tower. Like they, they need to buff boomerang monkey. He is just so mid. He is just so mid and he really doesn't defend much past the early game. Like this guy... He can kind of defend BFBs. He's not defending ZOMGs, like not at all. Uh, and, but he's one of my favorite towers. So uh, we're running Boomerang, Sub, and Banana Farm. Also, I did just put a Banana Farm here. Uh, oh, what? I, why, why can't you see anything? Hold on. Why? <laughs> there you go. I, I did just put a Banana Farm here under my uh, my camera. I don't really know a good spot for my camera on this map. Maybe, I mean, I'm just keeping it in the middle, I guess, for now. I don't know why it makes my screen go black now. It didn't used to do that when I moved my camera. Uh, but this guy's gonna be white, so we will have to get red hot rangs. This is a pretty good early game tower for us at the very least, Boomerang, because he's relatively cheap to get up, and like Boomerang here with red hot rangs will defend quite a lot. Pretty much into round 11, he'll defend everything. So I can focus on farming pretty hard here. All right, I got two banana farms here. One of them is, again, like behind my face cam, so you can't really see it, but I got the other one right here. I'm gonna max eco a little bit more. I'll probably honestly stop really early at like 600 and go back to, go back to whites here because this round 12 and round 11 defense is actually a little bit expensive because what I'm going to do is I'm going to need the more glaives 100% and then I'm also possibly going to need a reactor sub because honest to god if this guy rushes me with like uh, also I can regen up farm him pretty hard here because he has the uh he has the grape shot on his bow up here so let's see if regen balloons will do anything but if this guy sends me a bunch of regen regen rainbows or anything like that then uh, like this defense struggles really hard in the early game. I'm actually going to go ahead and balloon boost this. Is he dead to this? I think he's dead to this. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, that was a great game. Yeah, the boat just made him regen farm way too hard there. Do I risk building site? It's a hard map, but maybe I can make it work. I think we're going to start out here. Do we start out with uh, Striker? I think we are going to start out with Striker. I was going to start out with my Buccaneer and put it like down here. But I think Striker might be a little bit better for us, especially since this guy is currently just not sending me balloons. This guy is leaking a lot. He did go ahead and get up a, uh, a Seeking, whatever that is. But you know what? If I send him a bunch of greens before this round ends, 
I guess it's ending now, but you know what? These greens are actually still going to pile up really hard. He doesn't have a ton of defense either. I should have sent yellows, by the way. That was that was my bad. Uh, but I'll put this on last and go ahead and maybe get grape shot. I don't think I'll actually need it. Is any of these yellows going to sneak through his defense? I guess they didn't need to. I haven't even had time to talk yet because all of these matches have been just like so incredibly quick. But I'm just going to say it now just in case this guy somehow disconnects or dies like... <laughs> the Zepto second this game starts but I mentioned in the intro how we're gonna go ahead and do two ranked arenas in this one video and that is my plan so far it's honestly been going pretty well because these matches have been short but I did want to say that I'm expecting some of these matches to be a lot longer. In fact, like I'm kind of shocked that they've been going so well for us and we've been winning like, <laughs> we've been winning quickly. And uh, oh, these yellow balloons are gonna be so annoying, dude. I have to fully stop my eco. Oh, uh, actually he stopped sending them, which is cool. Thank you, dude. Now he's balloon boosting them, but I already got the defense up. So I don't think that's gonna really do anything. Um, I mean, I could play it safe, I guess, and go ahead and get I'm gonna play it safe and boost actually. I don't think I need to grind for powerful darts. I think I can just boost this for now. I'm probably gonna go for just this one banana farm and then start upgrading Bonnie. Okay, now he's balloon boosting stuff at me, but that whites aren't gonna get through my defense though. We, we have a good map for it, except this guy's struggling too. Oh my, I didn't even realize, bro, is, how are you losing? How are you losing to this? Do we do balloon bot factory? Dude, I think we do. And I think actually, Etienne is the best hero for this because I think with Etienne drones will still attack even if uh even if they like go down on the side but I think the most meta thing on this map is um is mortars apparently it's a good thing I got that PSA out because that guy that guy lost like immediately after I said all that which is absolutely crazy but I'm gonna go ahead and save up for a mortar here just send white bal or not white balloons just send blue balloons I don't think having a low eco is gonna super bite us in the ass on this on this uh whatever this called is you know what I'm, you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about so i think with this strategy i think what we want to do is actually get bernie stuff i really this is not going to force any like real major leaks on me so i really do not care that he's going to do that i think i'll just get bernie stuff up and like because this map is relatively long in the middle like this you see the bernie stuff has a lot of time to actually like pop these balloons down so i think if i do bernie stuff with bigger blast instead of rapid reload I think that'll be way better for us for the early game defense here. And actually, it looks like this guy is pretty decent early game defense too. He has the engineer, which is another good tower, and he has a sniper. But I mean, we talked about this, right? Sniper is not really that good anymore. But yeah, look at that. I was right. So my drones do still attack while um while Etienne is gone. I'm also going to go ahead and get bigger blast now because these pink balloons can be a little bit scary. And do I need to get balloon buster? I don't think I do. Ooh, a little bit of lag here. I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna balloon boost these whites. That balloon boost came out way late. But yeah, with just these two towers defending, yeah, he has to boost that. I think he's still gonna leak, though. Oh, dude, he's leaking like crazy right now. He needs to get a, uh, a rapid shot or whatever the, the next upgrade is. But he can't afford it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm the GOAT! I'm the GOAT! That's why they call me the GOAT! We are back on off tide, which is actually gonna be a little bit of a harder map for me. And I think I want to start with my tag shooter up here. By the way, we are going with my favorite strategy in the game, which is Azili, Azili, oh my god, which is Gwendolyn, uh, tag glue farm. I love this strategy so much just because tag glue is my favorite tower combination. They're my, some of my favorite towers in the game. Like, I really like glue. He's just not used super often. At least I don't use him super often. And then I just, uh, you know, you, you know tag. Tag is the goat. Tag is, tag might... No, no, I'm, what am I saying? I was going to say Tech is the most recognizable tower from battles, but I think easily the most recognizable tower is definitely like the Dart Monkey. But tech has got to be up there. I mean, Tech is iconic. Tech is the guy, you know what I mean? But we are currently running with this loadout of full eco because we do have village instead of like farm or like Etienne or something like that. So for now, we're just going to be doing full eco. Eventually, we will be switching into village farms, which are going to be good for us. And this guy's actually doing a good strategy too, except this map's a little bit bad for uh, for Dartling Gunner just because there's not a ton of like straight lines of sight that he can shoot down. And like near the end game there is, like you can put a, a ray of death or whatever it's called like down here and stuff like that. If I put a uh, glue gunner here, will he see the beginning? 
It looks like he will. Okay, that is perfect for me. Yeah, because my defense for round 11 is a glue hose with corrosive glue. And then I'm going to get a village on both of these guys eventually, like right here. And then that'll, that'll solo. That'll solo. I'm going to send this guy yellows this round here because yellows will force him to buy either another dartling or possibly upgrade one of these. I think he just has to buy another dartling though. And actually what I can do, oh, he has super monkey. It's chasing a lot though. So a lot of things are going to get back through. He needs to target this or balloon boost. He needs to balloon boost. There's no way. Does he actually clutch that? It's it's going to be real close if he does or not. I, I can't send too many though. I'm not going to be over greedy in this match because I know for a fact I can kill him round 11, even with the super monkey. Ooh, he cannot defend. He can't defend leads at all. He has Quincy, which can defend a few of them, but he cannot defend a lot of leads. Yeah, because he needs to get a uh, plasma on this or hydro rocket pod. So I think that's it. He can't get anything up in time. We won. There we go. I'll take that. So this would be a decent map. I'm going to skip it, though, because I'm not confident with my uh, Oban. Am I confident with this map, though? Dude, I don't even know. Okay, this guy's already starting pretty aggressive here. He's already got, like, some leaks in on me, but I'm just focusing right now on getting my Jericho in one more income boost because I really want to get him around round one if I can. Let's see. Here we go. Put him right up here. I don't I don't know what best Jericho spot. I've just seen other people put him up here, so I think that's going to be good for me. Okay, Jericho, please let me steal this guy's money. There we go. Stealing his money. Oh, 25, 25, 25. Yeah, I'm getting the max amount of steal with this for sure. He is sending me zebra balloons. Oh, it looks like it was just like a few to test the water. I'm going to go ahead and use my ability here now. And I think I'm going to have to get this. And I'll put this on strong. I really don't know how I'm supposed to defend on this map. Let's see if this guy's going to send me any camo, though. I kind of expect him to. I'm just going to fully stop my eco, actually. It looks like he's not sending me camo. I am going to get camo now, though. And I'm just going to get glue hose to play it super safe. And I'll keep sending this guy some of this stuff. Actually, you know, lead balloons might might be able to get through his defense a little bit. Uh, not really. I think if I sent enough of them, they probably would. But what about spaced ceramics? Like, I'll space these out a ton, maybe. Oh, he is exploding them. What if I get regen then? Because, like, once they get down here, they're going to regen like crazy. Yeah, I think this is actually going to kill him. I think that's it. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got the balloon bot coming in. Is this guy a mobile player? Or is he just putting that down to flex? I think this guy is a mobile player. He is using the balloon bot. He also doesn't have enough money to, <laughs> to constantly send red balloons. Oh, dude, I forgot that Star Captain Jericho has the annoying ass steal where it doesn't just take your money. It makes you go into debt, which is so, so stupid. Worst hero addition to balloons. God, he's just he's so annoying. Let's send him reinforced, not reinforced. Let's send him regen spaced ceramics because the, his blade trader here is probably going to make them... Uh, you know what? I'd actually need to send a lot of those to, to push through his defense. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that was the greatest send. I, I kind of... Oh, he balloon boosted though. Hell yeah. Okay. He definitely didn't need to do that. That was an overreaction on his part, but I'm so glad he did because that puts me in a way better position. This guy is now finally started to send us black balloons, so he's not going to have any money for defending this rush next round. All right, let's go ahead and get the rush started. Here we go. Send him just a ton of ceramics, like so so many ceramics and i don't think he can pop all this he needs to get a blade shooter up or not a blade shooter a uh oh does he ceramic a few of them are gonna sneak through but really not that much unless did he pop it i kind of I, I underestimated that he would get his his balloon boost back in time but i'm gonna go ahead and sell these stuff and send him all out like completely all out he does get a no he does get a uh, a maelstrom up does that that oh my god that actually did nothing that actually that blade maelstrom did absolutely nothing I'd like to move my camp. What? No, oh my God. What? He's not dead. Dude, fuck this mobile player. Are you kidding me? D is that what happened the first rush too? I think it was just desync. I think like I, my, my screen couldn't tell that he actually defended that easily. Oh, that is so annoying. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and send him one. He is sending me a BFB. But again, I think for a BFB, I don't really need to do much. To play it safe, I will get a ninja up. This is low key kind of bad actually right now. I think I'll probably end up having to sell this. I'm just going to do it preemptively. Sell that for a Rocket Storm. And uh, let's use the Rocket Storm now and boost. Oh my god, and boost, and boost, and boost, and... No, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. Dude, fuck this guy. Are you kidding me? Fucking mobile player. I fully stand by. I lost because of the desync. I lost because of the desync. That was such bullshit. It looked like it was running through his defense because mobile player. Dude, Ninja Kiwi has still not fixed that. That's fucking crazy. I don't know what that guy was doing, but let's go.
we are back and i'm on an eight win streak well there we go gamers and gentlemen i am back i don't really have a good place to put my camera on this map so hopefully like right here is fine it kind of blocks my balloon sends but like you can see a few red balloons down here so like i'm, I'm not really too sure i'm going to strategy gwendolyn tech glue farm uh, village i dude i will never stop getting the name of that tower wrong this is usually a pretty decently long map but both of us are kind of anti-stalling with our spots here so i think i'm gonna stop like i'm gonna chill with the yellow balloon eco even though i do have a lot of money to spend and i'm gonna go for a village oh no does it wait what uh, did i place it too close the village doesn't no the village doesn't reach my tax shooter down there oh this could be really bad hold i need to find a spot where the village will reach it i can sell the glue gunner and place it a little bit lower and then i will have to put my village up here which is not usually where i place it this might even be a better spot for me i'm not too sure but i'm gonna go ahead and prepare my corrosive glue here because i will probably end up needing that i am gonna send him a bfb i am I don't think he's going to send me one. Even if he does, we defend it with our setup pretty easily. We'll just get like maybe two or three of uh, overdrives. Also, I'll get an overdrive for this AI Moab, I guess, too. Did he did he pop it instantly? Did he did he pop his BFB? Inst I want to see that again. Actually, did he? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, my God. Wow. That's a, a cripple Moab, right? or something like oh no it just oh that was that was the first one i sent that just came out and this is the second one okay i guess it was just really laggy in that case yeah i will send him a zomg because that that bfb kind of made it a decent bit oh he had to boost that though he had to boost the initial zomg and he does clean up the insides fair play to him oh oh is he gonna die to this oh he might die to this balloon boost that there we go. That was pretty close. He actually almost didn't die, but GG. We are back on the map docks, trying a strategy that I really like, but for some reason, it doesn't like me. Gwendolyn Boomerang Sub Farm. Because for some reason, whenever I buy more glaives, the boomerang monkey says, oh, you like me as one of your favorite towers in the game? Well, I hate you. I'm not going to do anything you say. Blah. And that's what it says. That's literally what it, like verbatim. That is literally what it says. I also got Gwendolyn in a kind of bad spot so now my boomerang monkey's a little bit too far back for my liking but you know what it's fine country boys make do always sniper always sniper i greeted it out for two farms also i had to move my camera because i realized it was blocking <laughs> it was blocking pretty much all of this guy's defense uh but he has a wizard with jungle drums and quincy which isn't isn't is, it's fine it's fine like i'm i don't know I don't know how I feel about it. Wizard is pretty good right now, but we got to start preparing our defenses here. So I'm just going to not build up any more farms. I'm going to keep going white balloons. What we need for round 11 almost definitely is going to be more glaives. I, I don't know what this guy's balloon boosting at me. All I have to do is remove this obstacle and we defend like easily. The only reason we're kind of struggling to defend is because this obstacle was blocking all my glaives. We love sinking. We love sinking. It's the coolest, bestest thing. Oh my God, dude. That was like three in a row. He has dragon's breath. Interesting. Let's go ahead and use that to our advantage, right? Let's go ahead and send him some uh, some pink balloons. Okay, he balloon boosted that. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I think he's dead to an all-out rerush. He got a bouncing bullet. Oh, oh, dude. Little do you know, bouncing bullet is absolutely fucking ass right now. Like, that is not... Do not do not buy bouncing bullet anymore, brother. Bouncing bullet is terrible. Bouncing bullet is little... How did you get your balloon boost back this fast? It's been around. What the hell? And my, my all out did nothing. Oh my God. It's kind of pushing. It's actually, maybe maybe some balloons will get through. A, a, a couple, a couple, or or not. Or not, dude, what is this desync? What is this desync? I swear to God. Dude, this is the most annoying thing in the world. Like, did he leak or did he not? I'm, I'm still in a better position than him. And this time my defense is actually adequate in case this guy sends me a rush back. Okay, BFB time, BFB time next round. Send him one and maybe a reinforced one behind it. And then maybe just another normal one, like sandwich him in there. I think I need turbo charge for this Moab, dude. Oh my God. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll turbo charge it. I don't know if I actually needed to. I want to keep this guy defending because that means he can't rush me. And because I'm not super confident in my defense with, um, with this guy. Actually, I can send him a bunch of pink purple balloons now that his wall of fire is attacking. Because uh, then it'll cancel all the, the, the fires, the dragon's breath thing. I think, I think the Stramus will get through if I do that. Dude, or not. Yeah, no, they will. They will. Oh my god, dude. Kind of, a, kind of a stressful game. But you know what? GG's. 
And with that win, that was my 10th win in the win streak. Well, gamers, here we go. We made it into the Ceramic Crucible, and we do still have three days to spare in this season. So with any luck, we should be able to kind of easily make it to Moab Pit in the next video before the season ends. But gamers, with that being said, that is going to be all from me for today. Hopefully this was a little bit of a shorter episode. I tried to make this one a tad bit shorter and like include a few more games in it. Uh, so let me know if you guys like that editing style, a bit more fast paced with the games. But gamers, with that being said, if you liked the video, please like it. If you like to subscribe, thanks for watching. And let me know if you want to see more Balloons content going into the next season. And I will definitely make into Hall of Masters then. But like I said, like the video, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.